check out the construction going on for the new roller coaster ride at Epnot as we cover DNA replication, a topic test riders love. But before we start building stuff, we'll quickly mention a few key things. First, remember that DNA replication is a semi-conservative process. This means that each parent strand serves as a template to make complementary daughter strands. Next, remember that DNA replication specifically takes place in the cytosol of prokaryotes because they don't have a nucleus to store DNA. In contrast, eukaryotes replicate DNA in the nucleus. And last but not least, we need magnesium to replicate DNA. It's a cofactor for some of the enzymes involved. With that said, let's dive in. Prokaryotic DNA replication begins at the origin of replication. First, the pre-priming complex, which consists of helicase and associated proteins, binds to AT-repetitive segments at the promoter and origin before partially separating the DNA strands. Next, helicase unwinds the double helix, creating a replication fork. To show that, we've added this helical coil train unwinding the tracks. Note the 3P batteries, because helicase requires ATP. As helicase unwinds the DNA, single-stranded binding proteins bind to single-stranded DNA to prevent it from annealing to the other strand or getting broken down by endonucleases. We've added these strong folks holding the track to symbolize these proteins. All right, so we've unwound the DNA. Uh, now what? Well, there's a problem. The unwinding process has created positive supercoils in front of the replication fork and negative supercoils behind it. They're kind of like the tangles you get in your phone's power cord when you're unwinding it. Okay, maybe not, but they're definitely problematic. Fortunately, we have DNA topoisomerases to get rid of them. Let this top hat worker using a single saw to cut the track remind you of type 1 topoisomerase. This enzyme cuts a single DNA strand to allow for passage of another strand through the break in the order to relieve any supercoils before rejoining them. Meanwhile, our other guy here using two saws to cut both tracks is type 2 topoisomerase. This enzyme cuts both strands simultaneously and allows passage of DNA through the break before rejoining them. Unlike topo 1, topo 2 requires ATP, just like those battery-powered gyrating saws. Why gyrating? To remind you of gyrase, a specific kind of type 2 topoisomerase found in bacteria. One more thing. You should know that fluoroquinolone antibiotics block bacterial DNA replication by specifically inhibiting DNA gyrase and topoisomerase 4. And gazoon tight to you, sir. 